Piggy Book by Anthony Brown. Mr. Piggy lived with his two sons, Simon and Patrick, in a nice house with a nice garden, and a nice car and a nice garage. Inside the house was his wife. Hurry up with the breakfast, dear," he called every morning, before he went off. To his very important job, hurry up with the breakfast, Mom. Simon and Patrick called before they went off to their very important school. After they left the house, Mrs. Piggy washed all the breakfast things, made all the beds, vacuumed all the carpets, and then she went to work. Hurry up with the meal, Mom! The boys called every evening when they came home from their very important school. Hurry up with the meal, old girl! Mister Piggy called every evening when he came home from his very important job. As soon as they had eaten, Missus Piggy washed the dishes, washed the clothes. Did the ironing, and then she cooked some more. One evening, when the boys got home from school, there was no one to greet them. Where's Mom? demanded Mister Piggy when he got home from work. She was nowhere to be found. On the mantelpiece was an envelope. Mister Piggy opened it. Inside was a piece of paper. You are pigs. But what shall we do? Said Mister Piggy. They had to make their own meal. It took hours. And it was horrible. Next morning, they had to make their own breakfast. It took hours, and it was horrible. The next day, and the next night, and the day after that, Mrs. Piggy was still not there. Mr. Piggy, Simon, and Patrick tried to look after themselves. They never washed the dishes. They never washed their clothes. Soon the house was like a piggist. When is Mom coming home? The boy squealed after another horrible meal. How should I know? Mister Piggy grunted. They all became more and more grumpy. One night. There was nothing in the house for them to cook. We'll just have to root around and find some scraps," snorted Mister Piggy. And just then, Missus Piggy walked in. "Please come back," they snuffled. So Missus Piggy stayed. Mr. Piggy washed the dishes. Patrick and Simon made the beds. Mr. Piggy did the ironing, and they all helped with the cooking. They actually enjoyed it. Mom was happy too. She mended the car. The end. Thank you for listening my story. Bye.